the mechanism behind Botox or any of the neuromodulators, because there's more than Botox available in Canada. There's also Dysport and Xeomin. So the way that these neuromodulators work is on dynamic wrinkles. So if you've got a wrinkle that's being formed because of movement, so for example, when you frown and you create that number 11, that muscle that moves, when we inject a tiny bit of Botox into that muscle, it just blocks one of the receptors so that it can't contract. I came to Velasante for Botox. For me, using Botox was something I wanted to stay natural, and that's something that Dr. Jubin has always respected with me. I did not want a done look. I wanted to keep as natural as I could. So the, the procedure for Botox at this clinic is when patients come in, if they're first-time patients, um, we do a little interview and find out what the concerns are, which wrinkles that they're concerned about, and make sure that Botox or a neuromodulator is appropriate for that patient. I get the patient to move their muscles. This isn't a cookbook approach. Every face is different. Every individual has different expectations. So we base our treatment on that. And um, with the Botox, we use ultra-fine needles. They're very tiny. Most people say they can barely feel uh, the procedure being done. Uh, they leave here, there's no downtime with that procedure, and within three to four days it starts to soften and lift, and by two weeks it's the full effect. So we usually have the patient come back at two weeks, just to check and see if there's any touch-ups or anything required. No, I came to Bellasante uh, seeking probably just a more softer look. I'm happy with my age, I'm not here to look younger. I'm here to look, I guess, the best that I can look. Patients really like the, the fact that there's very, very little downtime. It's a very natural look.